This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to orbit in Kerbal Space Program. My last tutorial on orbiting was very long and um, I used a, a big ship and it was really unnecessary and I didn't really do it right so I'm just going to redo it here um, and hopefully I get it right this time and it's a little easier to understand because last time you couldn't hear me over the engine so this time I just muted the KSV sound so you could um, understand me uh, perfectly so um, I'm just using this little ship here it's just three fuel tanks and an engine that's all you need in fact I think although I doubt it's possible uh, with uh, two tanks. It might be, but I highly doubt it. Never tried it. Um, but I know that it works with just these, this three. So what you want to do is uh, make this. Uh, press T to turn your SAS on. Um, I don't even think it helps, but I just do it anyway. Because it might. I don't know. Uh, turn your throttle up all the way, just so you can get as much speed as possible from the start and um, yeah press space to launch and you're um, you pretty much want to head straight up for uh, a few minutes um, but because the SAS without uh, SAS module is very weak um, you're going to want you're going to have to uh, control it manually and keep it straight. You're also going to want to once once you uh, gain a bit of out uh, height, you're going to want to turn down your engine a little bit to avoid the overheating. Um, I'm going to go to time warp just to speed this up. So you're just going to want to keep straight. Uh, usually you run out of your first fuel tank around 8,000 meters. At least I do. So if that happens to you, then you're doing good. Um, once you get to about here, you're going to want to start to turn over. Not too, too much about 60 degrees on your nav ball here. Uh, once you get to about 60, um, okay, f around 50 you're going to want to turn down to 45 degrees, 60, 70, 70 you're going to want to turn just completely over on your side. Okay, burn for a minute here until you're at about half fuel and then cut your, oops, cut the engines. Go to your map by pressing M, and you'll notice how uh, there's this line here. Um, this line is your orbit, but you'll also notice how the orbit starts in the ground and goes back into the ground. That's because the orbit doesn't uh, go around the planet yet. And the reason I stopped burning was because I would have been wasting my fuel uh, with minimal effects. Um, You'll see here I have my apoapsis, which is my highest point, but I don't have a periapsis, which would be my lowest point. So um, I need to get a periapsis on the other side of the planet if I want to be able to orbit it. And the best way to do that without you wasting fuel would be to go as close to my apoapsis as I can and then burn there. Um, so it'll have a more It'll, I'm not sure exactly how it all works, but I know that when you burn it your apoapsis, it has a much stronger effect on your periapsis. Um, same for deorbiting, so once you want to get out of your orbit, if you burn backwards at your apoapsis, it has a stronger effect on um, shrinking your periapsis and so on, but I'm not going to be deorbiting in this video because you might notice that this ship is in no 
or has no uh, landing capabilities. So I'm just going to uh, use up all my fuel for the orbiting. So I'm just going to time warp. Until I'm nice and close. This should be about good. I don't want to overshoot it because if I overshoot it that'd be bad. So I'm going to just leave a tad of space. Just put it back on the um, horizon. I guess you would call it. And then start to burn. You don't have to turn your engine up too far. Just a bit. And then uh, I'll go to times two time warp just to speed this up. I'll turn my engines up a little more. But you don't want to run out of fuel, so you got to be careful. So I have a periapsis now. Whoops, 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 whoops. That's another thing. Um, you have to watch your ship. Since it has no SAS, um, it'll quickly spin out of control without you helping it. Um, the atmosphere, you'll notice here, this thing, it's at the the needles at the very top. Um, this is the atmosphere meter. Um, here it's, you're at ground level, so the atmosphere is the thickest, and as you go up it starts to thin out until you're at space. And 70,000 meters is um, how far the atmosphere reaches. So once both your apoapsis and your periapsis are at 70,000 meters, um, then you should be in a good stable orbit. Um, is it this isn't very circular. I could always fix it up, but I'm not going to bother right here right now. Because th this video is just how to make an orbit, not how to make a circular one. Um, but you might notice how this orbit's not very big, especially when you zoom out. That's the mun, or moon. Yeah, it's pronounced moon, but I always just call it mun. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's pronounced moon. I don't know. Uh, I forget. So you have to go out a lot further if you're if you want to go to the moon. And then if you zoom out even further, you're in orbit of the sun. Yay. So you can't actually go to the sun yet. So that's my tutorial on orbiting. Um, I hope it I hope it helped, and I hope it was a lot better than my last tutorial. It was also a lot shorter. My last tutorial was four videos. This one is only one. And right now I'm just gonna try and raise my periapsis a little bit more, just so I can time warp around, just to show you guys that you are actually in orbit. Whoops. Um, so I'm just going to start time warping. And if you look down at the plan, you'll see it. You'll see that you're flying by. So, so far in this video, I think I completed two orbits. I'm pretty sure I wasn't counting. But, yeah. So, uh, like I already said, I hope this helped. And um, if you want more videos, uh, please subscribe or leave a com uh, and leave a comment um, about if I did it good or bad because it helps. Because the last video, people were telling me how I did certain things wrong, and that was really helpful for me to know that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe.